Hey everyone, Tony D and the new Piney podcast for Tuesday. And I gotta say, Governor Phil is losing me. Um, today's new taste case total shot back up to 2400 and change. Uh, but that's still under 3000. We've had a pretty good stretch under 3000. The general trend is down. And yesterday he announced his conditions for opening up the state. And he said they will look for a 14 day trend showing sustained drops in new cases, hospitalization and other metrics. Now, in terms of hospitalizations, we're getting close to 14 days. That's a more important metric than anything. Because if you got this thing in your home, who the hell cares? You're going to be fine. Uh, if you have a light enough case of this that you can uh, be at home for a few days or a couple of weeks and uh, snuff that thing out, uh, does that really count as something that should shut down businesses across New Jersey? I don't think so. I don't think that should count against it. That should count for, for, for opening it up. Expand testing in the state. Well, guess what, dummy? All the available evidence has shown that way more people had this than the test could possibly catch up to. So what is that going to do exactly other than rise the numbers so you have to keep the state closed? And you're already doing expanding testing and the numbers went down anyway. So imagine if you hadn't increased testing, how how low they'd be now. Uh, yeah, you got to double test healthcare workers. Fine. First responders. These guys are on the front lines of this. I have no problem with that. But robust contract Contact tracing, he wants an army of people to perform contact tracing so new case outbreaks can be immediately tracked and mitigated. Oh, well, yeah, that'll work. That'll work until you get your first case at a shop, right? Uh, like they did in Tom's River. How the hell are you going to trace everybody who went into the shop, right, and touched the bread? You're not going to be able to do it, Phil. <laughs> okay, you're not going to be able to trace back from the guy who works at Wawa and uh, touched everybody's cigarettes and and and, and hoagies, uh, ringing them up. You're just not going to be able to trace back that far. And guess what? They're mitigating anyway. Everybody's wearing gloves and masks if they're... I went to the deli today. The deli's back open in ShopRite. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, safe places for isolation. People who test positive need to have proper contract contacts with officials so they can get support service they can remain in quarantine yeah that well hopefully they have a place to live but they're not going to have a place to live for much longer if you keep the state closed okay we're not uh, a, 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 an endless font of tax money and and rent money these people are stuck at home and they still have to pay rent they didn't get a break they didn't get a break on the mortgages phil that the mortgage companies just said, well, you don't have to pay us this month or the next month, but then you're going to have to pay three months. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, and you're still collecting property taxes for this. An economic restart. Murphy announced he created a commission to advise on the process of reopening. Oh, well, that sounds like it'll do really, really well. It sounds like we'll be open in a matter of hours. Who the hell needs that? You need to just open up uh, uh, common sense, Phil. Everybody gets it now. Everybody gets that you got to wear a mask and you got to wipe down everything. Everybody at ShopRite is wiping down everything. Everything. The carts, the counters, the bags. Everything's being cleaned triple and double time. More, what more do you want at this point? Even with mitigation and even with social distancing at the ShopRite, the place had lines. OK, we're starting to run out of food. Supply lines are, by the way, being disrupted. The meat, uh, the meat's disappearing. So I don't think they'll be out of meat, but they were pretty low on meat and shelves are empty in ShopRite. There are just sections that are completely empty, like all the medicine's gone <laughs> or a lot of it. A whole, a whole section of the, the drug area is gone. Um, now, I don't know. Maybe they're consolidating. Maybe they're just not getting shipments. Um, but there was definitely a lot of meat gone. I couldn't get chicken. I normally get like boneless breast of chicken. 
all that's gone except for like the super high end that I wasn't going to pay for. A couple of packs of them were left. And the stuff in bone, I, I, I didn't feel like cooking in, in bone chicken. So I got sausage instead. But I'm not saying you're going to die and you're going to starve to death. What I'm saying is the food is starting to be disrupted. So if you get a chance, Tim Pool is reporting on this. So if you get a chance, stock up a little bit. Don't go crazy. But Phil, uh, you know, you're you're acting like this is the plague now. You're doing more now than you were when this thing started. 14 days, a sustained drop for 14 days? That's too much. That's too much. That's at least another week. Uh, that's too much. You have to start opening things now, especially down south. Look. Look over here. This is New Jersey. Yeah. Come here. This is the John Hopkins map, by the way. So you got the counties in New Jersey. Bergen, 16,000. These are confirmed cases. But keep in mind, these people aren't on the hospital. Most of them are not. Uh, uh, Hudson, 16,000. Essex, 14,000. You go down to where I am. I'm in Camden County, 4,200 people. That's just the confirmed cases. Most of those people are home. You go all the way down to Salem, they only have 347 confirmed cases. There's like 30 people in the hospital, maybe. Uh, and, and some of them could have even recovered or died already. This is just the numbers. So you got to open things up, Phil. Look at, look at your own map here. Look at it. The percent positivity was at 44, 45% uh, a week ago. Now it's down under 40%. That means, look at all the negatives. All the people you tested. You've tested 200. First of all, if you only tested a quarter of a million people and you're like, oh, we, got to, we need more tests. We need more tests. How are you going to test millions of people, Phil? Uh, you got a quarter of a million people, way more than half of them tested negative. They don't even have it. They didn't even catch it. And these tests aren't totally reliable. Okay? They're not even completely reliable. Some of the people who got tested early on, ah, it turned out they were positive later. You, you, you got to open things back up, Phil. Um, now, there's one thing you said, which I agree with, which is uh, you said you need to do more robust uh, things at old folks' home. Sure. And don't give me this, there's no timetable to reopen for New Jersey, uh, whether you like that or not. Oh, no, F you. F you. People are going to start to go nuts, Phil. You have to open it up. And you can't just open the parks. You've got to let people's businesses open up. They can mitigate. They can open the windows. They can do social distancing. You don't need a freaking commission to figure it out. What is there to figure out? Keep apart and wear your friggin' face mask. What What more do you need? Wipe everything down. What is this co magic commission going to do? Figure it all out? Oh, by the way, if everybody's just eating a pretzel, it's all okay. No, they're not going to come up with anything different. You're just delaying the inevitable. And now you're making it worse. You're going to make the economic devastation in your state worse. You can't just go to the federal government and make it all better. Trump's not even going to give you the money, you moron. Look, you got to open up, okay? I get it. There is a disease. The one thing I agree with is old folks' home. Yes, go in there. Make it like a spaceship. Put in air filters. Tell everybody to put a hazmat suit on when visiting their relatives and spray them with disinfectant. Top, uh, to, head to toe. Head to toe. You can do it. Put on the hazmat suit, put on goggles, put on a mask, psh, then they could go in. I have no problem with that for an old folks home. But everything else, everything outside of hospitals and old folks homes, hey, look, if you got an underlying medical condition and you could die from this, then you got a problem that you have to work out, you know, uh, with the state or with your doctor or with your finances or whatever. You got to mitigate hard but you can't expect the entire state to shut down just to uh maybe mitigate maybe mitigate 
for a group of people that are on death's door anyway. Okay? How long... What, what do you think is going to happen when uh, a couple of more weeks go by and things start really falling apart? Okay? We've got supply line disruptions now. Okay? What if we go two weeks without any meat coming into New Jersey? Then what are you going to do? People will go bananas who don't have enough meat. They will go absolutely bananas. People will start looting stores. Then you're going to have a bigger problem on your hand. Okay, you can't do enough testing, Phil. You can't test everyone in the state. It's millions and millions of people. And by the time you would test them all, the people you tested in the beginning could be infected. It's There's not enough. The test isn't quick enough. The test isn't good enough. You can't process them fast enough. There's too many people. You have to open the state at this point. You're going to tank the economy and then it's going to be years, years before people get their businesses back. You're going to have abandoned buildings, drug use, crime. Okay? You cannot, cannot do this much longer. You have to open the state. Open it up in tiers. Open it. But you got to open the bars, man. You have to open the freaking bars. Let them open at a quarter of capacity or whatever. Tell them to slowly ramp up. Tell everybody to wear a face mask. Tell everybody to smoke again. Because guess what? Turns out there's a study to suggest that smokers, because of the horrible things they breathe in with their cigarettes, are killing the virus in their throat where it lingers. <laughs> Isn't that a kick in the pants? Right? Just when you thought smoking was done, turns out the smokers are immune. Nah, they're not immune, but... And again, I'm not a doctor. It's just what I read and heard on the internet. So, uh, this is not the play, okay? And, uh, you know, people are screaming, Oh my God, there's a thousand new cases in Georgia. From two weeks ago, they just opened up. It's a two-week incubation period before anybody has any symptoms. Why would you just go randomly get tested if you don't have any symptoms? Doesn't make any sense. And they're doing more testing. So if you do more testing, and all the evidence suggests that way more people have it than you've tested for, then when you increase the testing, the numbers go up. Those numbers are useless to you. The hospitalizations are a real number because people, nine times out of ten, aren't going to die in their homes. They're going to go to the hospital. That's a real number. And that's been going down, down, down. What more do you want? You have to put all your eggs. If you have to put your eggs in a basket, put it in the old folks' home. Turn every old folks' home into like the space shuttle. Have, have an airlock. Have air filters. Have disinfectant everywhere. Do that for the old folks. Do that for the hospitals. Do that for people who are just so fragile physically that they need to be protected. But everybody else, you got to cut loose. Most people can't even get this. People under the age of 20, they should all be working now. There shouldn't be any restrictions on them. They're going to be fine. Everybody over the under the age, basically, of 40 is going to be fine unless they have an a, a urgent medical condition. 50, nah, things start to get a little real. But Jesus, I need to get out of the house, Phil. I'm mitigating, and I'm a germaphobe, okay? This, to some extent, this was a germaphobe dream. Everybody wearing a mask and washing their hands. Oh, it was so, so wonderful after weeks of me telling everybody to wear a mask and them ignoring me. Now it's like, ha, I could go to the store again. I could get deli again because people are actually taking precautions. But I can't expect them to do any more than that, Phil. I can't. <laughs> I still have to take some measured risk going out. I got deli today. It, it might make me sick. I took that chance. I took the chance because I think the people at ShopRite don't want to get me sick. They had masks on. They had gloves. They cut the meat. They were very careful. They put it in the bag for me. I wiped off the bag when I got home. What more am I going to do? I guess I could stop eating deli and keep eating from a can, but I think I'd rather die. So please, just open the state at this point. Uh, you're, you're, and, and you certainly got to start opening the counties down south. 
that they're just going to completely ignore you. And then what are you going to do? You've got protests in California. Do you want to end up like that? Do you want to end up with thousands of people in the street pissed off at you? Does that bode well for your uh, wonderful career and, and getting reelected? I don't even know if you could be reelected. I assume you can. I think you were only elected this time around. I'm telling you, Phil, you keep this locked down any longer, your career is kaput, my friend. Unlock the doors.